This episode of The Modern Rogue brought to you by Raycon. Go to buyraycon.com forward slash rogue and get 15% off your first order. Yeah, but you gotta spell it right. He's not gonna tell you how though, you know. Ah, you'll figure it out. You know. Get a friend. I believe in you. It's fine. Ready? Yeah. Damn it! <laughs> ah! <laughs> so close! Uh, so close. Forget it. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> We're back with Nick from Cocktail Chemistry. This looks like we're teetering very close to uh, actual chemistry. Yeah, we're gonna get into some science here. We're gonna be making cocktail pods. Is this gonna get us in trouble? Do we need lawyers? <laughs> we need to stop a, a, a kid, say no to cocktail pods. Yeah, this is not a Tide Pod challenge, so nobody should be eating detergent here. But we are gonna be taking actually somewhat of a similar concept in creating a, a way to serve a cocktail inside a gelatinous sort of membrane. Yeah, that's so so, what I've always wanted. <laughs> is it actual gelatin? Uh, because we've played yeah. with various types of gel oh, yeah. when we did ballistics gel. Well, hello, everyone. <laughs> Just as handsome in gelatinous form. So this is yes. straight up gelatin with booze inside. Yeah, there's a couple specialty ingredients here that we'll talk about more as we get into it, but one of them is sodium alginate, which uh, alginate is actually a molecule that's derived from uh, seaweed, and uh, it also functions as a gel. But the unique thing about this ingredient is that it actually only reacts and becomes a gel when it gets in contact with calcium ions. And so we're gonna take that, that principle and uh, sort of separate the calcium from the sodium alginate and then bring them together at the end, which you'll see, in a way that sort of forms a membrane around a cocktail. So there's broadly two steps to this process. We need to create a bath with our sodium alginate. That's gonna help with some of the, the gelification that happens later. There's a couple steps you need to do really 24 hours in advance, and this is one of those steps. Get a liter of water, pour it into a bowl like this. Mm -hmm. It's very important that we use distilled water because as I mentioned, this sodium alginate is going to react to calcium. And there's gonna be lots of calcium in regular tap water. If you use regular. That's part of why it tastes good, oh, is those min minerals. Yeah. Exactly, you wanna remove all the minerals from the water that you're using, so distilled water is really important for this. And then blend in five grams of this sodium alginate. Okay. It's a 0.5% solution. This looks very syrupy though. It's very syrupy, it's thick. It's a gelling agent, right? So it'll thicken it up. It actually hasn't turned into a gel yet. It just, it's thickened the water. It's waiting to encounter calcium ions that we'll introduce with the cocktail in the form of this calcium lactate gluconate. If Brian were to do a shot of just the alginate. <laughs> I think, I, I think I'd have you... a bad day because I'm gonna guess that there's calcium <laughs> in my belly somewhere that that would react just... with turns into a gel in your stomach. Yeah, that's a good experiment. I haven't uh, done that. Yeah, no, that sounds like a bad experiment. <laughs> It'll be some interesting poops. <laughs> Perfectly clear. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it! Worth it! I'm gonna do it now. <laughs> when you blend the sodium alginate into this water, it's gonna be really bubbly. You don't want bubbles. Bubbles will make the cocktail pod sort of float, as you'll see later. And so this is why we do this 24 hours in advance. You just let it sit, and as you can see, it's actually very clear right now. The bubbles have dissipated. So this is a step you wanna do ahead of time. Let that sit for at least two or three hours, but up to 24 hours. So that is, that is really step one. And we're gonna put this aside for now and go on to the next step that you'll also wanna do about 24 hours in advance. So this is making our, our flavorful liquid. In this case, it's gonna be an old-fashioned cocktail, and we're gonna put it in here and blend in some of our calcium lactate gluconate. You're gonna need some specialty equipment for this, just a heads up. Um, one of them that's really important is gonna be this scale. Mm -hmm. And this is a scale that can actually uh, weigh to the 0.1 gram, 10th of a gram. And that's because we need to be very precise with how much of this uh, calcium lactate gluconate that we put in. Effectively, you need to put in 2% of the weight of the liquid in your calcium lactate. So we need to oh, wow. weigh the liquid of the cocktail first. I thought you were just very fussy about your cocktails. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm realizing that we need to science oh, yeah. it right, otherwise it'll dissolve. I'm gonna do a very standard old fashioned <laughs> template here. So I'm using some rye, two ounces or 60 mils of rye. And then we're gonna do just a bit of maple syrup, really to taste. Some people do just a bar spoon, some people do up to a quarter of an ounce. I, I hear you, yeah. the whole bottle, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, just stuff the whole bottle in. Depends on how much of a sweet tooth you have. I'm just gonna- Don't hand it to him. <laughs> Straight up drinking. <laughs> you know I will. Oh, I know, I know. 
So this is just basically Angostura bitters, aromatics. You can use really any bitters you want here. We're just gonna do a standard old fashioned with some aromatics. I'm gonna do you know, a few dashes worth in there. A little goes a long way. That brought us up to 57.2 grams. Normally with a cocktail, you'd stir over ice, but um, what we're actually gonna be doing is freezing these in here. So we don't really need to stir it over ice. We just need to account for some of the dilution and you, add the water in. Are you able to freeze whiskey all the way through? Anything under 30% ABV, you can freeze at about negative six degrees Fahrenheit. This is gonna come out to about 25% ABV once we add in the water to dilute it. And so even then, is the alcohol itself frozen or it's just trapped inside the ice which is frozen around it? It's gonna be kind of slushy, but it should freeze pretty well if you have your freezer set pretty low. Let me get some of this distilled water and we're just gonna add about one ounce or 30 mils in here. And this is just gonna account for the dilution we would normally get if we were gonna stir this with ice. So this is gonna get us to 85.2 grams. So we have our cocktail. And now we need to do 2% of that in calcium lactate gluconate. It is astonishing how different it feels seeing the same cocktail that we've seen made at a bar with flair and storytelling or whatever that we've made on this show. But now it's just like, doot, doot, doot. And there you have one unit of cocktail. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Please enjoy. First, let's do a little math. Figure out what 2% of that is. If two, two, anyone's two percent, uh, that's, a, that's a number. It's a number, okay. Oh, I've already thought of it. Here, it's right here. I'm just waiting for you to catch up. Would it be 1.7? 1.704, oh, but yeah. Okay, Okay. we got 1.7. 1.5, 1.6, 1.8, 1.9, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24, 
and then we're gonna get this in our, this is just distilled water right here. We're just cleaning it off. Oh, that looks the good. Everyone else is making whiskey pods. We made whiskey embryos. <laughs> yeah, that one's looking a yeah. little better. Yeah. Okay. okay, one more? Let's do one more. Okay. It worked, it worked perfect. Every, oh, that one looks awesome. It's gonna break though. Let's see how it's. Wait, so you're saying this is gonna break no matter what, right? <laughs> <laughs> So it's like, I mean, I'm just saying like, it'd be a shame if all that went to waste, if I was just to. Oh, you gotta I mean, do, just, it. do it, do it, do it. Oh, Make God. it weird. Mm. Actually, it's pretty strong. <laughs> I, was, I was like suckling on a teat. Okay, made it weirder, good job. <clears throat> all right, ready? He's a changeling, <laughs> he does this sometimes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. He's gonna start talking about the wisdom of the stars in a minute and... Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! I did good yes. until I realized there's <laughs> alcohol in it. You did perfect! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no thing. oh my God. <laughs> Clean up on aisle three over here. I'll be right back. Do it real fast. Just drop. Oh, wow, yeah. Come on, baby. Let's see, let's see. So it's definitely thawed. We have a little runoff snottiness Ooh, here. But that looks good. It's looking a little bit more like a pod already. Again, put it in the distilled water Oh, here. that looks really good. That looks solid. Let's not jinx it. Come on, stay together. Oh, I'm gonna jinx the hell out of it. It's perfect, nothing will go wrong. So. Oh, our beautiful baby whiskey egg. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, it looks pretty firm. Should be able to pick it up, like and pinch it. It should okay. stay intact uh, if it's, we've done it correctly. Look at this little baby you got your whiskey little pot. pot. I like there it. You know. What I would do if I were going to serve this pretty soon is I would put it in the fridge for like an hour just to cool it down and then uh, and then serve it. You should just All right. You. All right, Ray. All right. Oh give, give, give you some height. Height? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to do it like that. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Lob it. All right. Ready? Yep. I'm bad at this. Right. I'm bad too. Okay. Miracle. Here we go. Yep. Oh, oh, I got, got plenty. You, you got I got plenty. You got some. I can't yes. drive. Yes. That, I'll fail a breathalyzer. That's all that matters. <laughs> Dude, that's fantastic, man. All right, where can we learn more of this stuff? So you can head over to my channel, Cocktail Chemistry. I go through uh, a couple other recipes with this. I do uh, a Negroni, uh, an old-fashioned uh, whiskey sour. Uh, but yeah, you can go on my channel to find some more fun advanced cocktail tricks. All right, let's make more. I'm gonna be drenched in old fashioned, come on. Dude, I was at the grocery store the other day, I looked over, dude had these earbuds and they had wires that just dangled out. What? And then they came down together and they tied together like in a knot and then they were like tucked into his pocket. And I was like, it's like, is, is that a Walkman? What, what, what is, what is, is happening? He, was is he this, a cyborg? Is this 1972? Oh, that's disgusting. Was like, and, and, and I thought to myself, what's the battery life on those? And I realized there wasn't even a battery. There was no place for a battery. <sighs> and I just thought to myself. Did you slap him? <laughs> I actually just screamed, ah! But it, I didn't hear it because I was listening to my Raycons. Yes. <laughs> See, you don't have to hear crazy people screaming at you. You can in the be the crazy section. person. You can be the crazy just person. Scream all you want. You won't hear it. Yeah. Because you're having six hours of battery life. Mm -hmm. You can recharge it four times a day in the little discreet pill case. I like the fact that there's discreet pills somehow involved with Raycons. They just look so sleek. I like it. They're cozy. They're comfortable. You can get the colors you like. But the important part is that you can support our show with our favorite earbuds by going to buyraycon.com slash rogue, spell it right, R-O-G-U-E, get 15% off. Yeah, that's 15% off what is already starting at half the price of other premium earbuds. Less than half the price. Less than half the Significantly price. Significantly less than half the price. Yeah, so don't be one of those disgusting animals walking around with wires coming out of your ears. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it's too, too hard. <laughs> Buyraycon.com slash rogue, 50%. I love so, that you called it your your flavorful liquids. It's, like, it's, like it's, a, it's a good point though. Like like let's say you're doing a kids party, you could do Kool Aid pods or something. Exactly. Yeah, I've heard of people doing like mold wine and stuff with this, but yeah, you could do something totally non-alcoholic, like gasoline. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, just you know. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me get me. Let me get a pen. <laughs> I'm just like future episodes are.